corporate authorities, that gives them a positive influence to be able to deal with the threats that come with issues of misinformation. Mm. But overall, anything that threatens national security and national sovereignty is a worry to national security. And you can understand the passion at which he's speaking. And, and certainly will be a worry for even the very regular Ghanaian or the citizenry. Uh, so going forward, beyond telling Ghanaians that there is that kind of challenge, and the minister said that it has been his biggest challenge as a minister, beyond letting us know that that's a major challenge, what steps can he take, you know, both ways, so that the citizens can help government for all, all of us to have a, a secure country? There has been a gap between what the media does and what Ministry of National Security does. They will need to break that gap. I don't think they are liaising and having many friends in the media in general. Um, what they also need to do is to ensure that there's a continuous education where we have a NCCE who does periodic education when they think their back is against the wall. They sit on a large amount of resources and they need to ensure that continuous education is what they do all the time. Then thirdly, the ability to pick up the red flags on time and the early warning signs and put in a preventive measure to deal with it is what makes them the superstars because all nations are faced with all manner of threats. Mm. And one of them is to have saboteurs within an external aggressors who could collaborate with people to destabilize right. your state. So it shouldn't be that you throw your hands in the air and say you are facing an internal challenge. You okay. must be able to rise above the wall and I think continuous education, engaging the media meaningfully okay. and make sure governance as a call to is implemented broadly and right. they wouldn't have any problem.